Hey guys, Cordette here, welcome back to our video, today I'm playing some more Elder Scrolls Legends, and today we're taking a look at something a bit stupid. <laughs> um, today we're going to be playing Bone Armor Combo. Uh, so this is a scout deck that revolves around hitting people with big health creatures. Uh, the entire combo is just Bone Armor and uh, Ring of Imaginary Might uh, on something that can hit twice, or just playing Swift Strike on the thing. That's the entire premise of the deck. We have a lot of big health creatures. Uh, we're also running High Hrothgar. It doesn't exactly work with the combo properly, but it gives us decent base stats, because most of our stuff has uh, quite high health. At least at least for the most part. <laughs> so yeah, again, today's video is not very serious. Bit of a meme. I've been kind of laddering for the last day or two. We're currently in rank 6. So it's, again, not a hyper serious video. But I kind of got bored of laddering, so I decided to play something a little bit more fun. Uh, also, I haven't tested this deck out at all. <laughs> this is the first time I've played it. So, uh, we're about to see if it's gonna fucking work or not. So, uh, yeah. On to some games. Alrighty, we got Archer. Alex Mitch. The question is, is this gonna be aggro? If it's aggro, it might be in trouble. Uh, ooh. we've no ring, so keeping this hiss mage is really not a good idea. Same thing with the camel. Mmm, <laughs> maybe we do keep the camel. I don't know. I really, I really don't know what I should be keeping here. Quara Clan Bloodkin with Ring of Imaginary Might is really good at seven seven drain on turn four. All right, the hand just fixed itself. We're gods. <laughs> I actually quickly want to like give a quick shout out to you guys for the support on the last video. Uh, after like four months of not uploading, I wasn't expecting there to be such a good response like immediately upon uploading a video. So uh, seriously, shout outs to uh, to everyone who watched that and uh, gave me some feedback and support. Y'all are straight fire. <laughs> uh, the rapid shot kind of signals that it's mid range. I could be wrong though, because I do play rapid shot in like every red deck. I'm pretty sure I played it in my aggro archer deck as well. Nearly sure I did. I bark and burn. Oh no, okay, this is a, a slower deck. 100%. Die abomination. If we can find a corner club gambler, we can get rid of the siege crawler and pretty much kill him with this uh, quarrel clan vampire. Even if we don't kill him, we gain so much health that I don't think Anything in his deck can possibly threaten us anymore. So our, our best draw is... Gambler off the top, right? He curses the 1-4. Uh, the yeah. Okay, so we're one turn off doing some big time shenanigans. I have to be very careful about strapping anything to this. To oh, it's dragons, hello. I have to be very careful about bone armoring anything in this lane anymore because everything is wounded, which means he can leaf lurker literally any of it. So this is 9, it's 14 plus 2, uh, 14 plus 2 is 16, I can drain for 16 next turn. Damn it. They won't get the drop on me. I mean we have, we have double combo pieces in hand right, so I think we just kind of do it. I think we just kind of do it, because he really can't hurt me beyond that. So I'm going to Bone Armor. Manch the poor Cullis. I mean, he Leaf Lurks it, that's fine. I Midnight Burial away a uh, another poor Cullis and just kill him with, uh, like, the Dark Guardian. Like, we're super out of range of dying. 
A Fire's Guild recruit doesn't even save him because I can trade, then ring something else. That might save him. That might save him. That's gonna be a call dragon, which is gonna hurt. That's a that's a level three call dragon in hand. I have a couple of turns to get through it though. Merchant's camel. Dish the siege crawler. I think the way I have the lane set up now is he can he he can remove some of this stuff, but I should be guaranteed to get through to kill him, right? I don't think he's too worried about this wounded shit in the in the field lane, right? It is kind of bore stalls why I was thinking about putting in a uh, Torvald Crook. Okay, no, he's dead. He said he can like finish off something randomly, but mm. yeah, if he's finishing that off, that means he's dead. That's game. That is game. Well fought. Bone armor. Siege crawler. Ring. It's just that easy. <laughs> Christ. Fucking dumbass shit. Alrighty. We're up against Flesh Gore on Sorcerer. Probably mid range Sorcerer. Mid Sork is kind of threatening. A lot of wards to blank the uh, Territorial Vipers, which is our main source of removal. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna straight pass because I'm just gonna play turn two Barrel Stalker, turn three Merchant's Camel, I reckon. Yeah. Mid Sork is very threatening. I smell the stench of the living. I did not mean to press the ring there. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be a bad video. <laughs> it's gonna be a really bad video. God, that was a really dumb mistake. That was a really bad mistake. Holy fuck. Jesus. If he's got Shadow Priest, he can blow us up this turn. If he doesn't, we just land a Saber Cat. Yeah! Tempoing out the Harpy, sure. Sure. Uh, I'm just gonna play a 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> uh, that's, that's representing 14 damage, my friend. Repel the outlanders. Negation deals with it really well, though. That's fine. <laughs> Just don't have the negation. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so this is 14 and 9's 20... What, 23? Third Harpy. Clockwork Dragon. <laughs> 
This is what you call hella fucking dumb. <laughs> hey, he found us. <laughs> he finally found it off the top. Oh man. Although we have a ring of imaginary might. Interesting that he's ignoring the the tutu. Has he got another? Sets me to six. That's an interesting choice. That was fucking dumb. <laughs> Why did we win that? <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. What the fuck, game? <laughs> Be me. On spell sword. Probably Dwemer. This is just hard signaling Dwemer to me. Uh, fuck. We'll keep it. Probably not the best idea to keep this, but we'll do it anyway. A top deck port colors uh, would change my opinion on this hand. Or Siege Caller. Just something with uh, health to dump. Are we gonna see the, the uh, gear work? If we see gear work spider, I'm pretty sure we just lose, right? I bark and burn. This is interesting. There's Midnight Burial. That might be useful. Oh, it's tokens. It's tokens. My scales to make a friendly wager. I'm gonna try and get him down low enough where I can just kill him with a fucking <laughs> with a siege crawler. <laughs> he shouldn't be able to imprison kill my gambler. There's there should be no way. Yeah. There's a swift strike. With Swift Strike, that's how much damage? I will cut you your best on the wrong side. If I Dark Guardian this turn, next turn I can make it a 7 7. Make it a 7 7 swing. It goes down to 17. Technically dies if it doesn't have removal on the following turn. Yeah, I think I think we just run it out. We're running it out anyway. I'm just trying to think, do I want to ring it next turn or do I just wait until I can swift strike it on the same turn? Good plan is worth hundred men. Oh what do you do? Hello. I hear and obey. Oh it's consumed card. Okay. I hear and obey. Okay. If we draw bone armor, we don't draw bone armor. Uh, I'm so tempted just to slap the ring on it. You know what they say about liking it and putting rings on it. My other option is to just Dark Guardian, Midnight Burial, and just hold out for combo. Like, the, I think the safer line is just playing Dark Guardian and burying a Siege Caller, right? That way we hold out for combo kill. We're pretty much guaranteed to eventually find it. But he's got 5 mana, he's got to spend most of it to remove this Dark Guardian. He does get a free trade onto my Corner Club, Club Gambler, which is kind of big downside to this player. Like, I set him to 9. Yeah, I set him to 9 doing this. Or so, oh, not 9, 12, what am I saying? But this does mean if he doesn't have hard removal this turn, or a way of like killing my thing, he dies. 100% of the time. Javelin, that's his entire turn gone though. Why must it always come to Into the breach. Into the breach. Another gambler. Uh, 
I can corn club Ald Velothi. Like, I can just run with the Saber Cat, but it either eats a Jav or an Edict. Or he can create, like, two more tokens and imprison. Would I rather him kill the Gambler instead of the Saber Cat? I think so. We're at the point if we draw the two combo pieces, we can just do it. So I don't think I need ring anymore. I can technically also just kill him with Swift Strike next turn if this 4-3 survives. But both my creatures need to survive. Wait. Did you hear that? Okay. This does stop us from killing him. If he plays Divine Fervor though, we blow it up. Which I think is what he's leaving the man open for. I think if he goes for fervor here, it costs him the game. Like he has to remove this gambler. Oh sweet! I haven't seen this card in forever. Merchant's Camel. Hitting us there was a mistake, because well, I don't think giving us cards is in his best interest right now. Let's see. I'm not seeing any lethal options here. I'm not seeing any lethal option here. You bet on the wrong side. I'm not seeing any way he can lethal me back either, so I think I just camel. Do I just camel or just drop Saber? I'm just gonna drop Saber Cat. Saber Cat's 9 damage. With Swift Strike. With, with the uh, Swift Strike. Words. That's just a little bit awkward. He can't defensive broom on me. Wait. Saber Cat probably gets imprisoned though, right? I hear and obey. Surely. He surely has to imprison this fucking Saber Cat. Why is he going to imprison the 2-5? Uh, the is there no in prison? Oh my god, there's no in prison. Alright, the good news is if I hit with these two, he's inclined to, if he hits the javelin, he's inclined to kill this and not this, which means I can get him with Swift Strike. You bet on the wrong side. Alright, he dies no matter what. He can only kill one of these. I swift strike him and kill him. Well you bet on the wrong side. We got him. A little bit of a janky draw. Small bit of a janky draw, but we got there. Not too bad. Poggers. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that is rank 5 with bone armor. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nice one. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The deck is a lot of fun to play, which is something I say after I play any deck. <laughs> it's, it's becoming a catchphrase, honestly. But this deck really is, it's its hella dumb. I love it. Um, uh, sadly, the last two videos haven't been super competitive, but we're rank 5 now, so I can start kind of focusing on more competitive stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do the Legend Push this season. I might just hit rank 4 and wait until next season. Wait until, like, the reset. Uh... I'll see how bored I get, because Amiket Remastered is on the horizon for MTGA, and uh, I want to play a little bit of that as well. Uh, but yeah. That's the deck, deck list, or the, the deck code is in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's really dumb, it's a hell of a lot of fun, and uh, yeah. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.